With the rising of the sun on the ninth day of Dhul Hijjah, the pilgrims head towards Arafah to perform the most important pillar of Hajj. It is a day of great significance, sworn by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for its virtue, elevated status, and honor. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, by the meaning of the ayah, by the promised day, and by the witness and what is witnessed. The witness day refers to the day of Arafah. It is narrated from the Prophet ﷺ, and from this day's virtue, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took the covenant from Adam's offspring. It is also the day on which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala completed the religion and perfected his blessings upon the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ and his ummah. It is a day of forgiveness for sins and salvation from the hellfire. It is also the, the Eid day for those at Arafah. The Prophet Muhammad ﷺ prescribed fasting this day even for those not performing Hajj and said, I hope from Allah that fasting the day of Arafah expiates the sins of the previous year and the following year. On the plains of Arafah, the Hajj pilgrims stand in remembrance of Allah, directing their supplications towards Him, consciously submissive and devoted until sunset. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala boasts about them before his angels on that evening. The best of supplication is the supplication of the day of Arafah, and the best of what I and the prophets before me have said, none has the right to be worshipped but Allah alone without partner, to him belongs all that exists and to him belongs the praise, and he is powerful over all things.